Unusual reef dollars, Anilao and Dumaguete. This photographer is taking a picture of frogfish on a small wall. And here's the frogfish. Pink frogfish with a pink sponge to the left. These are Ambon shrimp, about a half inch long, very tiny. And this is a coral shrimp sitting on top of an anemone. It's almost totally transparent. You can see its intestines inside and it's using its purple legs to scratch off small microscopic uh, debris on its body and then put it in its mouth. Look in the far right, you see a claw of another shrimp. That shrimp is totally transparent. And here it is. You can barely even make it out. Its body is totally transparent. These are called uh, ghost pipefish. It's hovering on the sand right outside of a, the arms of a crinoid. Here's a closer image of it. The head is on the right, the mouth is on the bottom right, and the tail is on the top left. And now it's going to be gathered in by the arm of the crinoid. Here's a pink seahorse holding on to a little tuft of green algae. This is called a short dragonfish. It's less than an inch long. It's in a group of fish called dragonets. This is also called a sea moth. Beautiful pectoral fins. Very tiny. And this totally ugly fish is called a Caledonian stinger. Its spines are very venomous. It's easy to actually accidentally put your hand down on one of these things. So be careful of these. They are somewhat camouflaged. They use their modified pectoral fins as fingers to pull themselves along the bottom. This is a leaf fish. It also has venomous spines on it. Very good job of being camouflaged. And here's another type of scorpion fish. The eye on the top left and fleshy extensions coming off of its cheek and underneath its lower part of its mouth. This beautiful nudibranch is called Circe elegans. It's about an inch long. Look at the transparent pink colors and the powder blue spots. The mouth is at the bottom. 
top center is a pulsing heart and that's it